So that changes, we're probably gonna have to take him down. Which I'm thinking it's gonna be the push bumper on the front of this car, if you guys know what I'm saying. That, you know what, screw it. Oh no, 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 I just pissed him off, I just pissed him off. Sir, drop the gun, drop it. Hey guys, what is going on? AGG, and welcome back to Liberty City. This is another episode of LCPDFR, of course, and things look a lot different today, as you can see, I hope. Uh, this is a new EMB, a new car, new a lot of stuff. I completely reinstalled GTA 4. Vision EMB was really getting on my final nerve, so it's gone for the last time. I, I mean, it makes the ELS look amazing. It makes the, the lights just awesome. There's a bunch of drunk people around, but I'm not caring about them at the moment. Yeah, I mean, this one, the reflections look great. The sun looks amazing in this one, and the clouds, just the whole, um, what's it called, dome or whatever it is uh, over the city. It just makes a lot of stuff look so much better, and the graphics just look completely overhauled, in my opinion. So, we're going to be sticking with this one for a while, and hope you guys enjoy it. So, this is also a different car, and this is what the police are using around here. Uh, it is a CVPI, obviously. But it has a different light bar than I usually use. So that's stage one. You just have the back amber lights flashing. Uh, it's a strobe light, not a um, not an LED light bar. So a lot different. That's stage two. It has a little bit on the front and all the back. Or not all the back, but another one on the back. And then stage three is, of course, everything. you got your wigwags on the light bar. Your alley lights wigwag as well. And, uh, yeah, it looks really good. Also, new siren. I'll go ahead and play that for you guys real quick. Okay, so I used that a while back. If any of you guys think it sounds familiar, that's probably why, because I used it a long time ago, and I do mean a long time ago, like maybe uh, last August or July or something like that. But uh, yeah, if it does sound familiar, that is the reason why, I would imagine. Uh, so let's take this call. I think this is Wilder's call out. So we got Liberty Transportation Agent Officers or whatever LTA stands for. Requesting assistance over here, so we'll run over there code 3. We'll probably back it down as we get closer I'm not exactly sure the extent of the emergency But it looks like it's gonna be over here in this bus station Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and back it down now. I think we can safely back it down And uh, let's find out what is going on over here in the bus depot. Uh, hey guys. Uh, glad you guys could drop on in. So, what's what's the problem here? Huh. Okay, buddy. Um. <laughs> well, that's free speech. Unless he's threatening you, he's not really doing anything wrong. Um, so let's talk to this gentleman. Hey, sir, how you doing? I got them. Uh, do me a favor, turn around real quick. I'm just gonna frisk you for mine and your own safety. And in just a second, we'll get his ID and just see who he is. I'm probably just gonna just ask him to leave the property. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. So he doesn't have anything on him. I mean, as long as he's not threatening him, he's not doing anything wrong. He's just exercising his First Amendment right. So let's find out exactly who this guy is. Make sure he doesn't have a warrant or anything, um, or any, uh, or any other warrants out there for his arrest. Uh, Augustine Delaney, okay. I'm called in on foot. I'm not gonna get back in the car for this. Alright, I'm just gonna take a step over here behind my vehicle just so he's out of, uh, earshot of the radio in case something does come back. I don't want to spook him or anything. Although, more than likely, he would already know that it's out there if he has a warrant. Uh, no active warrants. Been stopped three times. Received two citations of those three times. No active warrants. So, negative 99. Uh, valid DL, though. So, yeah. Um, tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to escort him off the property here. Oh, shit. We got shots fired. We got shots fired. 
Let's take out the pistol. Drop the gun, drop the gun, drop the gun. LCPD, drop it, drop it. All right, we just called it in to dispatch. I think we got him down. Uh, let's see. As long as he doesn't get close to that gun. Okay, let's try to get it away from him. All right, so he's down. He is down. He's not dead. Hey, stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. I'm about to tase him if he gets up again. Uh, he's... Okay. Let's get ready for the taser. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't get up. All right, so we need to call for an ambulance. Not sure what's going on up the road. Looks like we just um, joined a pursuit that I wasn't aware of. So we're going to need an ambulance down here for this guy. Let's also get a backup unit just so that we can finish up our business with that guy, get him off the property, and then hopefully we can um, get out of here, clear the scene. All right, so I do hear some sirens. Hopefully that is our backup. No, it's the ambulance. Backup shouldn't be far behind, though. I'd really love to get off the scene and just kind of <laughs> get out of here and do my own thing. It's like backup is actually joining the other pursuits. I'm pretty sure he's deceased, though, and there are some LTA officers here, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it's safe for me to leave. They have custody of him, so after all, I mean, it is on their property, so we're going to be fine with that. We're going to let that happen, and like I said, we're just going to take this guy off of the property. Mr. Delaney, I think was his last name. Yeah, we're just going to escort him over here way across the street from the property. Just so he's no longer on the premises. Um, a criminal resisting arrest in uh, the booth tunnel. The booth tunnel, okay. Alright, buddy, go ahead and hop out for me. Alright, I'm just gonna let him know that he's free to go. We're gonna release him, just tell him to stay out the property. All right, so he was trespassed, so he's not going back to the property. If he does, they're going to let us know. We'll be back on the scene and arrest him because uh, trespass is an instant ride to jail if you do go back. All right, so we've cleared off of that. We're going to be code 4 and 10-8 available for call-out. Uh, so we have a guy running across the street right here. This is a little odd. Let's follow him and see what he's doing. Not sure what his deal is. Does he have a weapon? He does have a weapon. He has a firearm. Uh, he's carrying a firearm. It looks like a 9mm in his right hand. So, let's see if we can't get some backup over here. I'd rather not take this guy down on my own. So, right now, we're just kind of following at a safe distance. Making sure he doesn't approach anybody. I'm not seeing much foot traffic on the sidewalks right now. If that changes, we're probably going to have to take him down. Which I'm thinking it's going to be the push bumper on the front of this car, if you guys know what I'm saying. That, you know what, screw it. Oh, no. No, no, no. I just pissed him off. I just pissed him off. Sir, drop the gun. Drop it. Drop the gun. Better drop it. Drop the weapon right now. Don't make me put you down. Drop it. Alright, I think he's... Damn, did he hide the weapon? I'm wondering if he threw it under my car. This is kind of weird. All right, let's go ahead and put some cuffs on him. We're gonna frisk him. Oh, let's go get some blood on the front of our car. Um, so before we drive him, I'm going to release him so that I can frisk him. Well, yeah, we'll get his ID. I hit the wrong button, but we'll, we do want that. Just for the report, Kip Hudson. Okay. Born 98. Nah, I, I, is that what that said? Because if he was born 98, that means he's like 17 years old or something like that. <laughs> I don't think that's about, I don't think that's, that's correct. Alright, it looks like it is becoming morning, so our shift will be over here shortly. Hope you guys have enjoyed this patrol. Uh, there's a Florida Highway Patrol unit over there. It's one of the chargers I used in another episode a while back. I mean, a long time back, but maybe you guys remember it. 
All right, so he did have a gun. I'm not just imagining things, right? You guys saw that too? I'm not sure where it, where he ditched it at. I'm not seeing it in the barrel. I didn't see it in the car. I'm going to move my car and double check, but um, he doesn't have it on him any, anymore. So, doesn't matter. We're still going to take him into custody. We're going to run his ID, well, as a crazy driver, but sorry, I am busy. So, um... Yeah, let's let's just throw him in the car, and uh, yeah, we're gonna run his ID. We're gonna see if we can't find that weapon that he had, because man, that is our case right now. And if we can't prove it, then I mean, we really don't have much of a a case. Hopefully, the camera caught it, but uh, it's gonna be kind of bad if we can't locate that firearm. So, Kip Hudson, let's see what he's got on him. Hopefully, he has something on him, so that we'll have. Damn it, he doesn't. Yeah, 98. That's kind of funny. Uh, it's a no active warrant, so... Damn, we, we're losing our case right now. We're really losing... Our case. I'm not seeing a firearm down there. Is that... No, that's just the, that's just the ground. Oh, by the way, yeah, I'm using a HD textures and road mod. And that's why things look different. It looks a whole lot better, in my opinion. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm really not sure. I, he doesn't have it on him anymore. And I really don't know what he could have done with it. So, I'm thinking we're going to call out... Hmm, actually, let's do a news team. No, we'll do a patrol unit. Alright, so they're just going to try to locate that firearm for us. Hopefully close it down. Close the sidewalk down and see if I can find it. Because, man, that really pisses me off that we lost that firearm. Because that definitely was the whole reason we stopped him kind of ran him over a little bit, but yeah, I mean, that sucks. That really sucks. So anyways, we're going to be driving this guy back to the station, and we'll drop him off in just a minute, but I want to say thank you guys for checking this video out. I know it's been a while since we've done some LCPDFR, or an actual normal episode of LCPDFR, and you know, the funny thing is, using that Vision ENB, it did not feel normal. It felt... I don't know. The quality was just so much worse, and I hated that, but man, I love the way the ENB made the ELS look, but it's really not worth it in the end. This is how GTA should look, and uh, and how it will look on the channel from now on. I'm not going to take it back. I'm not going to downgrade to that. Um, I mean, everything's working perfectly. I mean, as you can see, the, the road mod, or the road texture mod, and all the vehicles, everything is working pretty well right now. So I'm, I couldn't be happier. But yeah, I hope you guys are happy with the way the game's looking right now. I know I certainly am. But let me know in the comments below what you think. If you did enjoy it and you like it, be sure to hit that thumbs up. I just destroyed that sign. <laughs> That's probably about, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars there out of the city's pocket. But oh well. <sighs> Alright, so we dropped him off and he is now in custody. They're going to take him in, process him, and hopefully, 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 our backup was able to locate that firearm that he had in his hand. Man, I'm hoping I didn't mess that up, because that would look really bad on me. And uh, But it looks really bad on him walking into that garage door like that, so don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> Alright, well that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. Uh, as always, hit that like button if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you have. But, either way, I will see you guys next time in the next patrol. Thank you guys for checking it out. Alpha 13 Chevy, uh, respond to code 3 to the cardiac arrest on uh, Mars Hack Avenue. We respond to code 3. And keep an oxygen going through her body while we're waiting on paramedics.